Hello MAGA friends. Today I want to talk to you about falling away. Lately I've been hearing a lot of reverends, pastors, and ministers preaching the message of, once you're saved, you can't be unsaved. I will at some point do a long-form sermon on this when I have the time to get it exactly right. This sermon brief, however, is of particular relevance to those Christians like me who believe in the MAGA movement and stand against the leftist jackals trying to destroy our way of life. At the end, I will present a scripture in context which disproves the once you are saved, you can't be unsaved theory, at least in part. First thing we have to remember is we can't turn to the darkness to save us from evil because a Christian cannot serve two masters. Remember, Matthew 6.24, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Instead, I suggest you carry the burden of your own actions before you engage in something you know is wrong. Ask yourself, how do you explain this sin you're about to commit when placed at the white throne judgment? Are you going to explain your actions to God and tell him you had to go against his word because at the time you knew better? Are there any facts on the ground that he doesn't know? Are you going to tell him he just doesn't understand that moment? Do you think he will forgive the notion you had to do it Satan's way and not his, no matter what the circumstance? That, my friends, is a function of ego, not holiness. John 3.30 he must increase, but I must decrease. That being said, I'm not a pacifist Christian by any means. You and your family's bodies are temples of Christ. You should fight to protect them by any means. That's how I can reconcile my full support for the Second Amendment unaltered from its original constitutional state. I can only preach freely with my First Amendment far and wide because of my Second Amendment. As the meme goes... Washington didn't fight the British with his First Amendment. He shot them with guns. Protect your Second Amendment. None of this, however, gives us the right to go on the offensive kinetically. Don't make of us terrorists. Let them spin lies without a fabric of truth in their weavings. Then, see how easily those garments fall away under the light of truth and they are naked and foolish whores before the world. We're watching it happen every day. Do not for one moment believe that the cycle of this revelation will in any way slow down. Now, getting back to the beginning, a Christian can fall away, and this scripture is witness and in complete context. So I ask you to turn your Bibles to God's word and not man's. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 19. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the same he is brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. At the very least, that points out dire consequences directly related to falling away. Can you, friend, or I say that ends in damnation? Even if it doesn't, what greater tragedy is there than to lose one's highest potential in Christ? When you delve into the devil's tactics, there are all kinds of demons spawned in government waiting to facilitate your sinful action. We see it. We know it. But how do we not play a part in it? Don't play their game. We fight on the grassroots territory. We stand our ground and make God's case before our peers. We have the courage to not back off our biblically discerned opinions for the sake of go along to get along. Before you utter open-ended questions like, what are you going to do about it? Ask, what are you doing about it now? Are you voting? Are you uh, active in local politics? Are you doing everything you can to stop groomer shows from coming to a town near you? There are all kinds of things you could be doing now. Look, we're all going to be hated for Jesus' sake. 
So what I'm saying is you hold that temper and you turn it into strength and you make that strength in layers and you protect your family from what's coming because nothing can stop what's coming on either side. There's a lot of good reckoning coming and there's a lot of dark reckoning coming. But how much of it do you want to explain to Jesus in the end uh, at the White Throne Judgment? That's my question to you. Gut check, MAGA.